Hi zombies. I hope you're having a beautiful weekend. We had a very fabulous weekend. It uh very very cold. I was waiting all day for flurries and nothing. But uh they said tomorrow would be the best chance of flurries now. So today was my dad's birthday and we took him out to eat. But uh we were supposed to go to Asbury Park today, but uh it was a little bit too cold to be down the shore, so maybe next week or the week after. Um, I had a very fun weekend. Uh, starting with um, Friday, uh, I was helping my mother clean behind the bar, and uh, we found a couple of fun stuff. We found this. We found this. Wicked $64,000 Jazz LP. Look at that cover. Isn't it great? Uh, we found a sealed copy of Zingers from the Hollywood Squares. How bizarre. Sealed, too. Let's see. 1974. So it was the era of Suzanne Plachette, Freddie Prinz, Karen Valentine, McLean Stevenson, Rosemary, Don Rickles. Rich Little, Paul Lind, of course. Very, very fun. Sealed. Then I found, still in shrink, a beautiful copy of Piano Witchcraft by Cy Coleman. Now, you know that Craig had given me one of these, but this one is... That one was from the uh, NEW collection. This is almost like new, like brand new. The cover's perfect. Very excited about it. Then yesterday, I, I went back to the Record King um, so that he could look at my um, Bozo player and because it really needed a new needle on the uh, LP side. So he put that in and he tightened up some wires and he really got it working great. And I did play it for you. Really fun. Then, when I came home from Record King, I had... Uh, a package on my porch from Manic Mark, and he gave me these great records. Italian Holiday, De Maria Sisters. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. This one. Oh my god. We need a little Christmas with the gold diggers. You remember the gold diggers? Look at that cover. Is that magical? Now, not only the gold diggers album. But, the, uh, but he also sent me a Gold Diggers painting. Gold Diggers ex inspired painting. So, <laughs> it is just amazing. I adore this. It, of course, you know I'm a huge fan of his work. So this makes me very, very happy. Thank you, sweetie. I am so thrilled with that. And he gave me Christmas... Uh, Christmas Becomes Electric on the Moog Machine. And this is playing right now. This is fabulous. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So, before we took my dad out uh, for his birthday, we did hit a couple of um, antique shows. And I found some great stuff. I found another um, Atomic Magazine rack. The kind that I love to store... Um, LPs in. These hold a nice uh, little chunk of LPs in a specific genre. I'll put a bunch together in uh, a rack like that. Makes me very, very happy. And I found this box of 78s. There's a sign up here. It says on it, a uh, big lot, all for twenty-four dollars. Thirty old seventy-eight records. Lots of great songs and great artists. Good condition. Where do you find them anymore? <laughs> well, we know where to find them. But look at that. This big box. The whole box of thirty records for twenty-four dollars. So less than a buck a piece. That made me really happy. I actually got those at the Abram Damari Homestead, which is a place that has a holiday boutique and an antique barn. So I found those in the antique barn. Now, um, <laughs> I found some amazing things today at the, uh, at the uh, antique shows. Uh, we went to one in Demarest and one at the Wayne PAL. And uh, let's 
see. Well, actually, the one in uh, Demers is where I got the, uh, the, the uh, what do you call it? The magazine rack. And in Demers, I also got this. Look at this. Pied Piper Records in a Pied Piper book. Now, I collect children's records. You know I do. And I have tons of them. But I only have one Pied Piper. And I've never seen the books. So in this book, we have three Pied Piper records in an original Pied Piper book. And it is just awesome. Look at that. Have you ever seen one? I, I've never seen the little books before. I'm so thrilled with this. Okay, now, at Wayne, I got this. Uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost TV theme show song on 78 with picture sleeve. Look at that. Is that beautiful? And I got a Vogue picture record uh, by Enrique Madriguera and his orchestra. So uh, this one is a Latin one and therefore the graphics are glorious. Look at this Vogue. Is that beautiful or what? And this thing is in gorgeous shape. It is in beautiful condition. I don't know if you can see the shine and how perfect this record is. But what a buy. Oh my God. And there was uh, a two record um, set, uh, 10 inch children's set with picture sleeve of Little Black Samba. And I, I don't know if you know how rare those are, but my mother grabbed that for me for Christmas. So I'm pretty excited. Now we'll have to wait till Christmas <laughs> for that one. But, oh, is this beautiful or what? I'm so excited. So tonight, I my plan is to wrap. I have to start wrapping because I have to wrap certain things that have to be mailed because we don't, Christmas is three weeks from yesterday. So it's really close, guys. And um, it's getting down to the wire, you know. I was going to wrap yesterday. Um, I intended to go for an hour or two at the most to Record King for him to look at the Bozo machine. And my friend Louie came in. And we wound up bullshitting all afternoon. I didn't get out of there till 4.30. So, it was very, very fun. So, that was my day. That was my weekend. Thank you, Manic Mark. And I, I will talk to you all later. I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Bye.